Astronomers have pulled off something extraordinary, something no one had done before. Using spacecraft circling Mars, they sharpened the orbit of 3I Atlas, only the third confirmed visitor from another star system. When they combined these distant Martian measurements with data gathered on Earth, the comet's path suddenly snapped into focus with nearly 10 times more accuracy, giving us the most precise track ever calculated for an interstellar traveler. This leap in precision doesn't just tell us where Atlas came from or where it's drifting next. It reveals an entirely new way to follow swift outsiders as they cut through our celestial neighborhood. In this video, we'll walk through the discovery, explore why it matters, and look at what this breakthrough opens for future research. Let's get in. The strange wanderer known as 3I Atlas first appeared on July 1, 2025, spotted by the Atlas Survey in Chile. Within hours, astronomers noticed something unsettlingly beautiful about its movement. It drifted in a way no typical comet from our own system would. Its path wasn't looping back toward the sun, but stretching outward in a hyperbolic curve, the unmistakable signature of a one-time visitor from the vast dark between the stars. That instantly placed it alongside the legendary interstellar guests Oumuamua and Borisov. At first, researchers could only watch it from Earth, tracking its dash toward the inner solar system. But objects from beyond the sun behave like startled birds, fast, unpredictable, and visible for only brief moments from the right angles. Even with dozens of observations, the comet's exact route remained frustratingly slippery. Then, in early October 2025, a rare chance appeared. Atlas swung past Mars at a distance of about 29 million kilometers, lining up perfectly with both the red planet and Earth. Suddenly, astronomers had a second perch in space from which to watch it. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express, normally focused on photographing Martian terrain, were redirected to attempt the delicate task of imaging a dim comet racing through the void tens of millions of kilometers away. Engineers had to account for the spacecraft's blistering speeds, around 14,000 kilometers per hour, and the comet's faint glimmer. The images they collected were not pretty, but their scientific value was enormous. Unlike observatories on Earth, spacecraft positions are known with exceptional accuracy. That meant the measurements from Mars became the missing piece in a cosmic triangulation puzzle, letting scientists draw a sharp geometric baseline between two planets and the comet itself. Once analysts fused the Martian data with the Earth-based readings, Atlas's trajectory suddenly tightened by nearly an order of magnitude. For the first time in history, spacecraft orbiting another world helped map the path of an interstellar object. The refined orbit reveals that Atlas reached its closest point to the Sun on October 30th and will pass Earth safely on December 19th, gliding by at about 270 million kilometers. The newly sharpened orbit gives astronomers the confidence to keep watching Atlas even as it dims and races outward at nearly 250,000 kilometers per hour. More than just a discovery, this moment proved that using multiple worlds as observation platforms may become essential as more interstellar travelers appear in the coming years. And Atlas isn't just remarkable because it wandered in from another star system. Its chemistry and behavior are unlike anything typically seen in our own celestial backyard. Spectroscopic data from several observatories reveal a coma rich in carbon dioxide, with water vapor and carbon monoxide trailing behind. Most comets born near our Sun begin to rely heavily on water-driven activity as they heat up, but Atlas stubbornly held on to its carbon dioxide dominance. That tells scientists it likely formed in a far colder realm around its home star, somewhere carbon dioxide ice was plentiful and long-lasting. Its volatile mix whispers stories about the environment in which it first froze into existence. This unusually high carbon dioxide to water balance hints at conditions not usually found where most solar system comets originated. It also highlights how dramatically different distant planetary systems can be when it comes to the icy bodies they create. Polarimetry, studying how dust scatters light, 
adds yet another layer to this mystery. These measurements show a much deeper negative polarization curve than what we normally see in local comets. Such a signal suggests that its dust grains may have rougher or more fragile textures, shaped by countless years drifting through space unprotected. Cosmic rays bombard everything between stars, slowly altering dust at the microscopic level and changing how it reflects and polarizes light. Taken together, the evidence makes it clear that Atlas doesn't fit neatly into the categories defined by the two interstellar visitors before it. Oumuamua acted strangely and lacked obvious cometary activity, while Borisov behaved more like the comets we know though with its own quirks. Atlas sits somewhere between them, clearly active, yet chemically and physically unique compared to anything formed near the Sun. With Mars-assisted triangulation refining its orbit, researchers can now study subtle, non-gravitational nudges, tiny accelerations caused by jets of gas shooting unevenly from its surface. Detecting these faint pushes reveals clues about its mass, internal makeup, and how vigorously it sheds material. Such small effects would normally vanish inside less precise orbital data, but not this time. Scientists also spotted something visually striking. After the comet reappeared from behind the sun, it brightened and drifted toward a blue-tinged color. This shift may signal that new dust or gas is being released as fresh layers warm and awaken. Each change offers another glimpse into its chemistry and the forces driving its behavior. By unraveling Atlas's story, researchers add another precious example of matter forged around a distant star, expanding our understanding of what other systems can create and how they evolve. And the successful use of spacecraft orbiting Mars to lock down its path marks a genuine turning point. Until now, astronomers relied almost entirely on Earth's perspective. But this event proved the solar system has far more eyes than we've been using. This moment proved that spacecraft stationed around other worlds can dramatically boost the accuracy of orbital predictions, especially for targets that are dim racing through space, or positioned awkwardly from Earth's viewpoint. That ability matters far beyond curiosity. It carries real weight for planetary defense. If a dangerous asteroid ever approached from a glare-filled direction near the Sun, where Earth-based telescopes struggle, orbiters around Venus or Mars could provide the critical measurements needed to assess the threat. As more probes take up residence around different planets, our solar system is quietly transforming into a sprawling, cooperative observation network, instead of relying on a single world's perspective. The ATLAS campaign also underscored why rapid response missions are becoming essential. ESA's Comet Interceptor, scheduled for launch by 2029, will simply wait in deep space until a promising target appears. Its adaptable design means it can chase a pristine comet, or even another interstellar wanderer. Had such a mission already been active, we might have captured close-up views of Atlas itself. Meanwhile, ESA's JUICE mission, en route to Jupiter, has been gathering its own observations of Atlas from yet another angle, adding more depth to the global dataset. These additional measurements highlight the growing value of observing from multiple positions across the solar system. They also feed into ongoing discussions about dedicated, dedicated rapid response missions. Spacecraft that could wait in heliocentric orbit or be launched on short notice the moment an interstellar object is detected. Since such visitors are rare and move with startling speed, Quickly deploying a probe may be the only way to secure detailed, close-range data before they slip away forever. From a scientific standpoint, every interstellar object broadens our picture of how distant planetary systems build and shape their icy bodies. Variations in gases, dust, and activity patterns reveal which processes are universal and which depend on local conditions. 
With its unusually high carbon dioxide levels and distinctive dust signatures, Atlas provides an important comparison point for this growing catalog. Thanks to its precisely mapped path, astronomers can keep studying the comet throughout its December flyby, gathering the final clean observations before it fades into darkness. After that, it will continue its one-time journey through the solar system and drift back into the vast interstellar night. Encounters like this show that as our distributed network of spacecraft expands, so will our ability to track and interpret these fleeting cosmic visitors. By giving us a rare glimpse of matter from a distant star, and by proving the value of using Mars-based spacecraft to refine its path, Atlas has pushed the study of interstellar objects forward once again. With every new visitor, our understanding of how worlds form across the galaxy grows sharper and more profound.